This is part two in our film about secondary economic activity. Secondary is making things. We are looking at a sawmill in Nairn on the Murray Firth in the Highlands of Scotland, where there is a good supply of forestry, where timber like Scots pine, larch and spruce are harvested and logs are stacked, like here, before they are hauled to the sawmill. The sawmill is located on the edge of the town of Nairn, close to the railway, they have been on this site for over a hundred years. Land is generally more valuable towards the centre of a settlement. The sawmill needs a lot of space for all its activities as we have seen. Timber is supplied from the Highlands area of Scotland, usually by road. In October 1987, southern England was hit with high winds and so many trees were blown down that timber was sent to Gordons by railway from southern England. We are identifying these three areas, inputs, processes, outputs. The first stage is weighing the timber when it arrives. The timber is hauled across the site. It is loaded onto the sorting line. Some logs are rotated by the crane operator. Some logs need trimming to a uniform diameter. Each log is scanned as it passes through the scanner. There it goes. And each log is sorted along the line. They are loaded and hauled. So this is a sorting process and stacked around the site until they are taken to the sawmill. Each log is stripped of bark. And each is scanned. The optimum cuts are calculated. The line is controlled using computers and video. Each log passes through three sets of saws. The line can process 75 tonnes per hour. Each sawn plank is visually inspected. Then each is measured. And sorted into numbered pockets. Occasionally, the line is stopped for repairs like welding. The timber from one pocket is moved to the packing area. Dowels are used to separate plants. This pack is now ready for the kiln. The timber is still quite wet. The moisture content can be 60 to 100% of its dried weight. The pack is loaded onto a forklift truck. stored before it goes in the kiln. There are three kilns in this new building. This timber will be dried in the kiln for four days till its moisture content is at 22%. All the sawdust waste from the sawmill line is sifted by this screening machine into different sizes. This is fine sawdust. This is wood chip. The sawdust and wood chip are collected in two large loading bays. The wood chip is used for wood pulp to make paper. The wood chip is loaded into a lorry container 
it will be taken to Inverness Harbour, then it will be shipped to a paper mill in Trondheim in Norway. So this is wood pulp for, it's going to the harbour at Inverness and then it's going to Norway. That's going to end up as paper. Sawdust waste, which is too large for wood chip or too fine for sawdust, is collected and it's used in the biomass boiler process to heat water to heat the kilns. This is the brand new three story high biomass boiler. Biomass coming in on a screw feed here. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a little bit of pre-drying just at the, at the end and then it gets shunted in here to the start of the burning process and then we have a moving grate so the uh, material is uh, transported down the grate if you like and burns as it goes down. Um, we've then got a secondary burning up here to make sure it's cleanly burned if you like and then we've got the heating of the, the water up at the top, uh, the hot water to, to what temperature? 105 degrees. Oh yeah. Somewhere between 100 and 105, sitting at 105 at the moment. <laughs> 780 degrees C. In where? That, that's in, in the, the chamber? In the chamber, and there's a secondary combustion process and 690 in the primary combustion process there. The steam is circulated in these pipes to the three kilns, so the temperature inside the kiln is 60 degrees centigrade. You can see the steam rising off the roof of the kiln. That's one of the outputs. That, I mean, that is just steam, is it? That's right, basically. <clears throat> these logs are destined to be fence posts. They are dried in the kiln for three days and then they are treated because they will be used outside outdoors, where they are exposed to wind, rain and snow. Construction grade timber has four days in the kiln and then it's stored. So this is waiting to be graded. This is where the timber is graded and stamped. This timber is being stamped by hand. The timber is packed, wrapped and labelled. A forklift truck then takes the pack to the dispatch area. It takes lots of organisation to ensure that there is a steady supply of timber into the sawmill and a steady distribution out from the sawmill. This trailer is almost ready to be taken by lorry to the market. About 50% of the timber products go to Scottish retailers and about 50% to England, mainly in the north. Gordons employ 90 staff on this site. They process about 150,000 tonnes of timber a year. Now let's review. What inputs, what processes and what outputs did you identify?